Space exploration is the most ambitious project the human race has ever attempted. Reaching beyond our planetary cradle represents the next logical step in the evolution of the human race. Space, in the words of Gene Roddenberry, is truly the final frontier. It's tempting to think of exploration as incurring enormous financial costs. There are also many pressing needs that must be addressed right here at home. Surprisingly for some, venturing beyond the confines of the planet we call home is our best hope for solving many of our problems here on Earth. So without wasting any time, let's look at the top 10 reasons why space, exploration and research are most important than ever. Ready? <laughs> let's get started. Number 10. Defense against catastrophic asteroids An asteroid strikes our planet once in every 10,000 years or so. Aren't we supposed to be prepared? If we don't want to end up like the dinosaurs, we need to protect ourselves from being hit by a large asteroid. According to NASA, a rock or iron asteroid the size of a football field could collide with our planet's surface once every 10,000 years, potentially causing tidal waves large enough to inundate coastal areas. Such a collision would create a firestorm of hot debris and fill the atmosphere with sun-blocking dust, wiping out forests and farm fields and starving any human or animal life that survived. That is why it is critical to devise a method to neutralize such a threat to Earth. NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test is the first mission to demonstrate asteroid deflection by kinetic impactor technology. In order to demonstrate that it is possible to slightly alter the path of an asteroid, a robotic spacecraft will be crashed into the binary asteroid system, Didymos. That would enable NASA to redirect potential threats to miss Earth. Number 9. Space exploration lead to more great inventions A vast number of gadgets, materials and mechanisms were developed for the United States space program but found other applications on Earth. So many that NASA has an office dedicated to finding ways to repurpose space technology as products. We've all heard of freeze-dried food, but there are plenty of other options. NASA scientists, for example, developed a plastic coated with a metallic reflecting agent in the 1960s. It reflects about 80% of a user's body heat back to him or her when used in a blanket, which helps accident victims and post-marathon runners stay warm. Nitinol, a flexible but resilient alloy developed to allow satellites to spring open after being folded into a rocket, is another less well-known but valuable innovation. Orthodontists now use the material to make braces for their patients. Other space-related inventions include CAT scans, LED lights, memory foam, freeze-dried food, shock-absorbing materials used in artificial limbs, the computer mouse and portable computers, and a key nutritional ingredient in baby formula, according to NASA. Number 8. It will be good for our health the International Space Station alone has produced a number of medical innovations with practical applications on Earth, including a method for delivering cancer-fighting medication directly to tumors, ultrasound equipment that a nurse can hold and transmit the results to a doctor thousands of miles away, and a robotic arm that can perform delicate surgery inside an MRI machine. NASA scientists assisted a pharmaceutical company in testing Prolia, a drug that today helps protect elderly people from osteoporosis in an effort to protect astronauts from losing bone and muscle in the microgravity environment of space. Although mice and humans do not have identical physiology or biology, it made sense to test this drug on mice in space because astronauts lose around 1.5% of their bone mineral density each month in microgravity, which corresponds to an elderly woman on Earth losing 1.5% of her bone density due to osteoporosis. Number 7. Space exploration is motivating if we want our children to aspire to be great scientists and engineers rather than reality show hosts, rappers or Wall Street financial tycoons, we need a great enterprise to attract and inspire them. I could ask 8th graders if they want to become an aerospace engineer so that they can design an aeroplane that is 20% more fuel efficient than the ones their parents flew? Hmm, that doesn't usually work. But if I ask who wants to be an aerospace engineer to design the plane that will fly through Mars's rarefied atmosphere, I get the best students in the class. This is still true today, and inspiring children will always be critical to future space exploration. Number 6. Important for national security The United States needs to detect and prevent hostile nations or terrorist organizations from deploying space-based weapons or attacking its navigation communications and surveillance satellites. 
while it and other major powers such as Russia and China are signatories to a 1967 treaty that prohibits nations from claiming territory in space, it's not difficult to think of past treaties that were ignored when someone saw a benefit in doing so. Even if the United States privatizes much of space exploration, it still wants to ensure that companies can mine the moon or asteroids without fear of being usurped or having their production stolen. That is why it's critical to support diplomacy with a NASA spacefaring capability that can be converted to military use if necessary. In the 2019, Congress passed legislation with bipartisan support to establish the United States Space Force, a new branch of the United States Armed Forces devoted to protecting the country's interests in space. Number 5. Raw Materials from Space There is gold in the universe as well as silver, platinum and other valuable substances. A private sector venture that envisions mining operations on asteroids has received a lot of attention, but space miners wouldn't have to travel that far to find riches. The moon, for example, is a potentially profitable source of helium-3, which is used in certain MRIs and could be used as a fuel source for nuclear power plants. The moon is also thought to be a potential source of rare earth elements like europium and tantalum, which are in high demand for use in electronics, solar panels and other cutting-edge technology. Number 4. Nations can work together peacefully I previously mentioned the ominous prospect of international conflict in space. However, as evidenced by the cooperation of multiple nations on the International Space Station, this does not have to be the case. A US space program could also encourage other countries, large and small, to join in their exploration efforts. NASA published a paper in 2018 highlighting the benefits of international cooperation. For one thing, the high costs could be shared. For another, it could help strengthen diplomatic ties between countries like United States and India, as well as create new jobs in both countries. Number 3. It could help answer a really big question. According to a 2021 Pew Research Center survey, nearly two-thirds of Americans, nearly 65% believe intelligent life exists on other planets. The general public does not consider UFOs to be a major threat to the country. When asked about UFOs and national security, 51% of Americans believe that they pose no threat, while 36% believe they pose a minor threat. However, so far, sweeps of the sky with Earth-based telescopes for signals that could be beacons from distant civilizations have been fruitless, possibly due to interference from the Earth's atmosphere. This is why extraterrestrial civilization hunters are eager for the deployment of more orbital observatories like the James Webb Space Telescope. That telescope, which was launched in 2021, looks for chemical signs of life in the atmospheres of distant planets outside our solar system. That's a start. But a more aggressive space-based search for extraterrestrial clues could finally help us answer the question of whether we have company out there. Number 2. Humans need to fulfill their urge to explore Our ancestors spread from East Africa to the rest of the world and we've never stopped moving since. We're running out of new territory on Earth, so the only way to satisfy this ancient urge is to find somewhere new to go. Whether that's taking brief trips to the moon as tourists or signing up for a multi-generational interstellar voyage. Number 1. We may need to colonize space to survive Already, our ability to launch satellites into space is assisting us in monitoring and combating pressing issues on Earth, such as forest fires and oil spills, as well as the depletion of aquifers on which people rely for drinking water. However, our growing population, rampant greed and disregard for environmental consequences have already caused significant damage to our planet. According to a 2012 research survey, most scientists believe that Earth's carrying capacity is between 8 and 16 billion people, and we already have a population of nearly 8 billion. As a result, some futurists argue that we should be planning to colonize another planet soon. It could mean the difference between your life and the lives of your descendants. Thank you for sticking with me to the end. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss out on other upcoming videos. Bye for now.